The Church of Ogdensburg is alive in Christ. As I travel from parish to parish across our diocese, my heart is filled with much hope, inspiration, and gratitude as I meet so many faith-filled parishioners who are alive in Christ. There's an ever-present feeling of zealous joy and spirituality among our youth, families, and adults. God is at work among us. This year, 13 seminarians are studying and discerning the priesthood. Our son Legan entered seminary right out of high school. The church was a big help as Legan went through the discernment process. Well, initially, I think I thought it was just like any other, you know, high school person, um, you know, exploring different things that they were interested in. You're a little nervous for him because it's not a vocation that everybody understands. And like any of your other children that express an interest in anything. You try to provide them with the support and the information so that they can make a, a good decision and a positive decision. The Bishop Fund Appeal has been key in allowing Legan to pursue the vocation for priesthood. Through the Bishop's Fund and through the diocese, they help offset the cost of his tuition and the cost of his books. And so it's been a really big help to us and to him to not have to worry about how he's going to finance the education. Just worry about his discernment and worry about doing well in school and worrying about furthering his relationship with God. We understand that they need priests in the Diocese of Augsburg, but they don't just push that. They've allowed Legan the space and the opportunity to do a proper discernment to make sure that it's the right thing for him and the right thing for the diocese. They're not just saying we've got slots to fill, let's put somebody in it. They take the job of preparing the young men for the priesthood very, very seriously, and they do a tremendous job with it. The Bishop's Fund allows us all as Catholics in the Diocese of Augsburg to help our fellow Catholic brothers and sisters in the far reaches of a diocese and brings us all closer together as one church. 14 men are studying to become deacons, and 64 adults have recently been commissioned lay ministers and will serve our sisters and brothers in Christ in our North Country parishes. There are 22 lay ministers that are active in the parish. They're involved in a great number of ministries. They're involved in taking communion to the homebound. Some are lectors, some are Eucharistic ministers. Others are involved in receptions after masses, preparing parish banquets. More importantly, our CIA, they're very involved in that catechetical program. People appreciate very much that these men and women have gone through a training program and are using their gifts and talents to make the church very alive here in Clayton and Lafargeville. Well, the time commitment that is involved differs for various ministers. Some are involved in catechetical programs, which go for 40 weeks out of the year. Others are involved in a program that might take an hour, an hour and a half, once a week. Others may be involved in something for one month. I'm finding that our lay people are doing a tremendous amount of ministry in the parish, things that I just could not do. The Bishop's Fund Appeal is essential to the Diocese of Augensburg. It offers so many wonderful programs. Our people here have been very supportive. The Lay Ministries program has been an excellent program. The funds that come from the Bishop's Fund are so important to continuing this ministry. We have hundreds and hundreds of ministers throughout the diocese, and it's only possible because of the generosity of the people of the diocese to the Bishop's Fund appeal, which is essential to building up of the church here in the North Country. We contributed to the Bishop's Fund because our contributions are going to help all the ministries of our diocese. They're such a big part of our whole church community. One that I'm really excited about is Guggenheim. We've got four kids and they're going to love going to Guggenheim. Many families and hundreds of teens have participated in programs at Camp Guggenheim, our beautiful summer camp, which offers weekend and week-long retreats to families and teens who work hard to keep God at the center of their lives. I'm with my family all the time, but it was the first time I actually seen my children, and that was beautiful. Youth Camp has made a difference in my life, making a lot of close relationships with friends, family, and with Jesus. You feel His presence. We pray, but there's also kayaking and hiking and swimming and there's lots of activities. I think it strengthened my relationship with Jesus. It made my faith stronger. 
There's no judgment. People accept you for who you are. Whenever you make friends, you make true friends. This year, I encouraged one of my friends to come to Guggenheim, and I hope that she's gonna have so much fun. I love family Guggenheim because I love all their fun games, and I caught this big, huge fish. Oh, my favorite activity was the variety show. Me and my siblings, we played the ukulele, and watching all the acts was pretty fun. I've never experienced anything like it. It's just wonderful, it's breathtaking. Leaving all your worries and your troubles, everything on pause. I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed watching my family here. I'd like to thank everyone who generously supports the Bishop of Fun in Camp Guggenheim. There's nothing else like it, and nothing that could bring you ever closer to God. We look forward to coming to Camp Guggenheim every summer, just like heaven on earth when we come here. Hundreds of families and individuals have been directly impacted by your prayers and the grants provided by the Bishop's Good Samaritan Fund, which eases such burdens as job loss, home heating costs, prescription medications, and expenses involved in caring for a sick loved one. We've been in the area forever. I'm from Chattagay, he's from Malone. It was about three and a half years ago, I believe it was November of 2015. She was having blood in her urine. Everything started from there. We went to the doctor and they sent us out to Burlington and then we found out. Shock, pure shock and, you know, devastation. It's very important to us and very special, and the, the Bishop's Fund money went toward our treatment out in Arizona that we had to go. It was very expensive, and we were there for six weeks. And the prayers mean everything. So grateful for everything everybody's done and all the prayers. I love them. Take care of them, help them, hug them, tell them good luck. Think of the positive things you have. I think of my friends that I have. I would say if they could do it, to encourage to do it, uh, it was very helpful for us. We were in a bind and that was very helpful. Thank them for all they've done. It's great that everybody can, can help out and it just makes all the difference. The vicious fun really helped me. We contributed to our capital campaign for our parish, you know, in our diocese this year. We were big proponents of it. We needed the funds for our church and our diocese. It's a really important thing. To me, they were kind of targeting different things. The Bishop's Fund Appeal Fund, the Good Samaritan Fund, Guggenheim. The capital campaign was for a lot of building repair and things that aren't getting done otherwise. I think both are necessary to help maintain our diocese. People should consider giving to the Bishop's Fund because expenses never stop. And I think it's important too that it's a give what you can. You know, take a look at your budget and if it's a small sacrifice, it's well worth it. A little bit goes a long way. Yep. If we all are in it together, then it, it adds up really quickly and helps take care of everyone in the diocese. We are alive in Christ. You make this possible because of your generous support of the Bishop's Fund Appeal and its programs and ministries. In this year's appeal, it is our hope to raise $1.3 million for the vital ministries and programs of our diocese. Any funds raised over our goal will further supplement the Bishop's Good Samaritan Fund so that we may continue to provide the emergency grants to those among us who are hurting. I am truly grateful for the support that has been given to the Bishop's Fund Appeal in past years, as well as to the recent capital campaign. As we resume our annual Bishop's Fund Appeal, I invite you to continue to be alive in Christ and support the 2019 Bishop's Fund Appeal through your prayers, encouragement, and financial assistance. Thank you.